Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So today I am here with a new video on exercise 1.1 which is from the class 9 that is from the chapter number system. So before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new videos. So as you all know, number system, the basic introduction to this chapter is completely present on my channel. You can even check the description box for the link where I will give you the complete playlist of the number system or else you can even search by using the playlist. Okay, so let's start here. So the first question is given here is... Is 0 a rational number? Okay, first question is, is 0 a rational number? Can you write it in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equals to 0? So, here they have given, they, have, they are asking us whether 0 is a rational number or no. So, we all know that for a number to be a rational number, it should be in the form of P by Q. Okay, so we can write, yes, 0 can be a rational number because it can be written in the p by q form so 0 can be written like this 0 by 1 which is equals to 0 itself okay where p and q are integers so here you can see this is p by q form p divided by q okay where p is 0 and q is 1 and you can see q is not equals to 0 so this denominator where q is present it is not equals to 0 Okay, where P can be 0 but Q cannot be 0. Okay, so this was the answer for the first one. So, the second one you can see, find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. So, there are 2 numbers that is 1 is 3 and 1 is 4 and there are 6, you have to find the 6 rational numbers between this 3 and 4. So, how you can do this? Okay, since you need 6 rational numbers, we need to write 3 and 4 with the denominator 6 plus 1. So, we need 6 rational numbers. So, what we have to do is we need to add 1 to this number 6 plus 1. We are getting 7. Okay, so that 7 we should even multiply with 3 as well as we should divide with 3. So, that we are getting 3 into 7, 3 7s are 21 divided by 7 and you can see 4 divided by 7 into 7. So, 4 7s are 28 divided by 7. So, why we have to do this? Just see here, 7 1s are 7, 7 3s are 21. You are again getting 3. Whereas here also 7 1s are 7, 7 4s are 28. Even here you are getting 4. So, out of these numbers, that is 21 by 7 and 28 by 7, there are many numbers. 22 by 7, you can see here. 22 by 7, 23 by 7, 24 by 7, 25 by 7, 26 by 7, as well as 27 by 7. So, here how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers you got. So, these are the 6 rational numbers which are in between your 3 and 4. Okay. So, the next one you can see here. Find 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. So, in the previous question, there was only 3 and 4. Now, it is written with a denominator which is 5. 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Since we need to find 5 rational numbers, what we have to do here? We need to find out 5 rational numbers. So, we have to add 5 plus 1. Okay, which will give us 6. So, what we have to do? We have to even divide as well as multiply. So, 3 by 5 into 6 by 6. Okay, here it was 7 by 7. So, 7 was here and 7 was here. Okay, the same situation here. Since here it is 3 by 5, it will become 6 by 6. Okay, so 3, 6 are 18 and 5, 6 are 30. Similarly, 4, 6 are 24 and 5, 6 are 30. So, we are left with 5 rational numbers in between these two numbers. 18 by 30 and 24 by 30. So, 19 by 30, 20 by 30, 21 by 30, 22 by 30 and 23 by 30. So, these are the 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Okay. So, the last question here. State true or false and give reasons for your answers. Okay. So, we need to find out the true or false and even we need to give the answers for our questions. So, first question here is every natural number is a whole number. Okay. So, you know that natural numbers, it starts from 1, 2, 3, 4. Whereas, whole numbers start from 0. Okay. Whole number starts from 0. Whereas, rational 
whereas natural number starts from 1 2 3 4 and so on okay so you can say here this is true just because of you can see whole number contains natural numbers and it starts from 1 2 3 you know whole number starts from 0 after 0 all the other numbers are nothing but natural numbers so you can say that every natural number is under your whole number okay so second question is every integer is a whole number your integer you know that integer means you have to remember a number line where you will get positive numbers negative numbers as well as zero positive numbers negative number and zero okay so integer every integer is a whole number this is not possible because whole numbers you know that whole number starts from 0 1 2 3 4 and so on where you can see only positive numbers there are no negative numbers under the whole numbers so you cannot say that your integers are coming under whole number because the negative numbers which are present in the integers they won't come under your whole numbers so you can write it is false just because integer contains negative numbers which are not present in the whole numbers okay then the last question here every rational number is a whole number no this is also not possible because rational number you know that it is written in the form of p by q so in the whole number you cannot see any number which is written in the form of p by q you know that it is a whole number it is not a fraction whole number do not contains any fraction so it can be written as false rational numbers are in the form of p by q and whole numbers do not contain p by q form or we can say they do not contain any fractional form okay so this was your exercise 1.1 i hope everything is cleared here if you are having any doubts regarding this you can comment me down below i'll be back with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you